My name is Steven Annie, and in this video, we'll be learning something new in Blender. In this video, we'll be learning how to model a computer mouse and a computer monitor. So the first thing here is that we'll have our cube, and we're going to use a new style of modeling in edit mode, using the modifiers. So I'm going to go into edit mode and press Ctrl R and click there. To accept I'll click and then click again to accept it now remember here I would like to select this face here and select these faces here and press X and delete the face now I will go down and add a mirror modifier now the mirror modifier is used to make something if you're modeling something on one side it will be affecting the other side so depending on the axis that you are using, you can either use this Y or X. If you actually cut this with this this way, you have to actually use a Y to complete the other part of the shape. So now we also have the clipping. So the clipping enables you, let's say for example, if I move this, if I select press A to select everything and move this to separate. But if I turn on the clipping, when I bring it back, when I try to remove it out again, let's off and bring it up again. If you try to remove it, it will not be able to separate any longer. So you want it to be together that way. So now that I have my mirror modifier on, I would like to select the top here and bring it down a bit like this. So with this particular thing that we have here, I can be able to put my loops. So I'm going to add, I'm going to press Ctrl R and put five loops and this I will use to subdivide the different uh, partitions for modeling my, my mouse. So first, I would like this part to be the front of it. And then here will be the back of my mouse. So I would like it to come in a bit. This one will definitely be up. And this one will be somewhere here. And this one will be somewhere here. So you actually have a very curved shape here so I like this to bring this down so you work on this until you get something very smooth so I have this so I would like to go down even a bit on this axis and if you want this to actually bulge up more you can press ctrl R and put another loop port here and drag this out too if you want that then here I have uh, this part going in, so I would like this one to go in this way, and that one go out a bit like that. Now I will want to create certain loop ports here, so I'm going to press Ctrl R and put a loop port here. So this loop code I'm putting here will be for the demarcation between the mouse, the left click and the, and the right click. I think I might even have to make this mouse to be a bit uh, smaller. So I uh, would like to expand this a bit this way. Go back to my object mode and scale this down okay, to something like this. I think this is quite better. So now the next thing I want to do is to put another loop port here and this loop port will be used for the mouse wheel. This is where we're going to actually be able to add the mouse wheel. So I'm going to just drop it somewhere here. Okay, so now I'm going to cut the part. I'm going to put the mouse wheel just somewhere here too. And then there is um, a particular design I have in my mouse that I'm going to copy here. So I would like to have this. Let me press Ctrl Z and put that again just somewhere here. All right, so with this, I can be able to select this one here and uh, select this one here and just press E to extrude it inside so if you look at the mouse here now 
basis of the size we actually have. If you feel like it's too big, you can control Z and select here or uh, use your edge selection mode. You can select this and go to select and go to select uh, loop and edge loop and to select the entire thing around and you can move it even a bit closer so we can have that there. So you can simply select this um, thing here and that one and extrude it inside. So I think we can be able to work with this particular one here. When we actually put the mouse, it's actually uh, going very well. So I have another design here and that's the design that um, goes around here. I would like to go in a bit and do something. E and click S and scale in a bit. On this axis I also scale it on this axis I just found something that I would like scale it on the axis and then push it inside so it's not gonna be going in immediately so we have some kind of uh, entrance here so now with this particular one here we are going to do something similar to it so somewhere here um, I think I'm going to also have um, this subdivision here selected and I will press E and select and click to select to accept it S to scaling and I would like to move it on this axis just a bit on this axis and I will scale it up like this just something like this so I have a very simple design like that. I think that's too much. So I'm just going to bring it down a bit. So we're going to actually add some textures to this later. But for now, we're going to just be modeling it. So let's go ahead and save our work. Let's call this our mouse and monitor. So coming up here now, we'll want to finish up our design so we're going to come in here and I'm going to select these edges here with this I'm going to select this edge here and I'm going to edge loop and with this particular one I will I think I would like to let me press control and double click on this let me see select everything um, normally if you use alt and click on one of the edges you should select everything around this place so but some of the the new versions of blender usually doesn't do that so you have to use control or you just select this select and edge loop and you can also select this one let's try this too uh, edge loop and we have this part so you can select this this and this and that so we're going to build out the edges now so if you go in here and go to bevel in edit mode while selecting the edge go into your, your bevel and just drag it the bevel will just make the edges to be called something like this okay so we'll have something like this and uh, let's save our work and uh, let's remember to push this down a bit i think this is uh, i think it's actually okay we can leave it that way for the meantime let's push it down a bit like that So we'll have this. So I'll quickly add my solid uh, subdivision modifier on it and it will actually make it even smoother. So I'll make it to be two points and right click and smoothen it. So we'll actually have a very nice mouse here. I will also like to select this edge and let's see if um, I think the edges here are quite okay and we can actually work with it like that. So I think our mouse is uh, ready to go. So if you have any other design that you want to do, you can actually add it to this place. So I'll press it A, go into my mesh and add a torus. And the torus, I will rotate it R, um, Y, 90. Now depending on you, you might be R, X, 90. So scale it in, press it to scale it in. And then move it to this axis here. So I'm going to 
scale it in more and right click on it and smoothen it and push this in to this place Okay, so now we can just go ahead to add um, things like our wire. I think uh, basically that's the first thing we have main thing we're going to do. To add our wire, get your 3D cursor, make sure your 3D cursor is somewhere here, and then go to Shift A, and then go to Curve and add a bezier. So scale up the bezier and rotate it on the Z axis, let's say 90. Um, I would like it to go 180 again so that I will have this straight part. So we can just push this into uh, the front part of the mouse. There's somewhere there. So if you press, if you press tab, that's to enter into edit mode. We can be able to select this point and move it however you like. So if you want to extend it, you press E to extend your mouse. So we're going to actually do something to it. Let me rotate it again on this axis and push it back to this place. Rotate on the Z axis, arrow Z, 90. I'll just rotate it arrow Z and you just move it however you like to lock it on that axis. So I'll just bring it back here. I want you to be very close to this and make sure that it's actually straight. If you look at now, it's actually not straight with the line here. So I'll just try to make it as straight as possible with this line here. So here, you go into your Bezier properties here, your object data properties here for the Bezier and then you go down to your geometry and um, you can just quickly go to Bevel and just increase the depth and you see the depth already shows you something very nice here. So you can just block this a bit, just bring it to that point. Alright, so if it's too big, if you look at the mouse, it seems like a to be if you if you come up you can just do 0 0.04 so i think that's too small so i'm going to go for 0 0.07 i think this should be okay for us so if you want it to be bigger in case you are working with some other thing if you want it to be bigger in that form so but for now we don't need that we just need only the bevel around it so the next thing i want to build is the the usb uh, cord for it here so to do that i'll just simply select this part here and shift a and add uh, i would like to start with a plane okay so we can use a cube for that but i want to start with a plane in this particular one for those who are still learning how to model planes so i'll just drop this here and i will press um, um, shift i'll press tab sorry and press e to extrude it up this way so when I do that, I will just I want to move this out a bit. So I want to start with the front, that's the, the pointed part of it. So I will just go in here, select this point with my face. I like to bring it out a bit so I will have space to work. Then E, click to accept S to scale it in. If you look at now, the way it is, I would like to scale it on this axis too. So we'll have something like this. So I'll just press E and um, the other intricate designs we can put, but I'm going to leave those intricate designs for now. Um, press E, as, click to accept it, press S again to scale it in and then scale it down on this axis. I think this one is too much, so let's push it back a bit. And then E and push it back as much as we can. So that's the front part of the USB. So then the other part of it, that's here, we're going to just go ahead to do E and um, let me just drag it up a bit, I need to be a bit taller. Okay, so something like this. And then E and then pull it out and use the scale to scale it on this axis, this way. So I would like it to come in a bit, E again and then accept this backwards so we'll have something like this 
So with this, uh, the other part of it is the circular part that will actually join this one. So I would like to, uh, first of all, make it smaller to so actually be close to the size of this particular object here. actually use it that way so but if you want to do more intricate stuff you can be able to add um, a cylinder there so I think I have something like this let me increase it and drop it there okay so I think um, this should be able to serve us for this uh, work here all right so we'll have this so I'll quickly just select this and I'm going to add a bevel on it, just a bevel straight on it, and uh, push it down, go down up to let's say four, and increase this one to about four to uh, 0 0.04 and then four, and then right click and smoothen it, and control A to apply the scale. Thank you very much. This is okay. Control A, apply the scale. Yes. So I'm gonna select this, select this, select this, and then select this one the last press ctrl p and keep the transform all right so that's the thing here so that means that whenever i move the mouse everything moves with the mouse so the last thing we're going to put right now is the demarcation for the right and the left mouse click so i'm going to go down here and remember the loop port we created at the beginning and just be able to select it i think i'll also select this part to press e just move it inside like this and that's how we can be able to create the left and the right click now we have added the demarcation between the left and the right click we can go ahead to model our monitor I'll just go ahead to uh, create my monitor so shift A and I'm going to add uh, plane, I like starting from the plane. So, because if you are starting from you know, the modeling part, I want you to learn how to model from the plane. Everything starts with the plane. So, just go in here and uh, I would like to scale this in this way and enter into edit mode. Press E to scale it up to that size. Select this part, scale it out because I want the screen to be that way. So I'll select it back and scale it inside more like that. Then E, click to accept. I will scale it down. Press S to scale it down. I'll push it out a bit this way. Something like this. And then E to bring this in, out. So let me do that again. E, and I'll move out. Then press S to scale out. To scale in, sorry. I scale in I have something like this now so before I'll go to the other part of it I'll press this I'll select this one the face here E click to accept S scale it in then E click to accept and then use this to move it in a bit like that so you have something like this so under here I will just select here and I'll press E Click to accept, use my scale and scale this inside. Remember you have extruded it, so we have a new face there. So I'm gonna just push this in like that. And I'll press E to bring it down. So if you look at now, it's actually uh, going this way. So I don't want that, so I want it to be a bit straight. So I'm gonna use my move tool and move this this way. Okay, so I think this is okay like that. So, but I would like this place to be straight. So, I will use my edge selection mode. Select the edge here and drag it down to this point here. So, with this particular one that we have here, we can um, just select the face here and drag this down a bit more. I think this is okay. To E and expand this a bit like this. So 
think uh, the floor is round so I'm going to just use my 3D cursor click somewhere here and I'll press shift A and add a circle so that circle I'm going to scale it out a bit and I will push it to the front a bit so it will balance then I think I'll scale it down a bit like that so it's not too much and I'll press F to face it sorry make sure you select the edge and then F to face it now remember I added this in edit mode so not in object mode in edit mode so except you want to make it a different object but I want all of them to be working as one here so if I go into my object mode I can move everything as one so let's go back to edit mode and I'll press E and scale out so if you look at what you have here now something like that I would like to press Ctrl R and put a loop code just somewhere here click and accept it click twice to accept it and then scale it out to have something like that so I think I have a, a very a nice mouse or a nice monitor sorry so I'll go into this and add a bevel and uh, let's bring it down increase this increase that to I'll just leave that 0 0.044 4. press ctrl A and apply our scale so that's basically how we can be able to create our monitor and our mouse in the next video we'll be learning how to texture these things to look as realistic as possible see you in the next video